Hey, well, Sucker Triple O Seven. Hello, world. This is the Hacker Triple O Seven here, and I'm sh bringing you guys a new little thing I'm starting to do. Is I'm going to start a new v kind of presentation in all my videos. I'm going to start off with a normal intro, then a little area of requirements for the video, and then I will bring you guys into the video. So if you guys like the, the new idea, thumbs the video up, please. And here we go. So how to change the Windows 7 start orb. Things required, obviously Windows 7. Uh, program shown in the video, which is available to download in the description below. And enough consents to copy what I do. If you don't copy what I do, I cannot guarantee a good result. So uh, copy what I do, and continue watching the video. Hello world, this is the Hacker Triple O Seven and today I am obviously as you've seen about ten seconds ago showing you guys how to change the Windows 7 start over. Now I just did do my new new visual presentation. I hope you guys like it. You know I'm trying to put a little more effort into each video. So thumbs up for that. And I will get on to this video. So if you guys are a regular video watcher of mine, you will notice that my start menu or my start orb is not there. Well, actually, it is there. It is just invisible. Now, I'm going to show you how to change it to be invisible or anything, really anything you want. You're going to need to download a program. Once you have a, the zip file downloaded, it will come in a thing like this, and we'll have all this. So you can visit the home page for details. Here's a must read text document. Where it just you know it just basically says we don't it's not our fault if you do this and this. It does work on both 32-bit and 64-bit, so it doesn't really matter what Windows 7 you have. Here they have 10 sample orbs, so I'll just quickly go through them. They have the default one, a let's say a BBM smiley face, a blue one, weird one. Now let's keep going through. And there you go back to the beginning again. And then in the start orbs one, they have a whole lot more for you to to uh use. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click the program and hit run as administrator. Now, um, for me, I'm going to restore my original backup. So, there we go. Um, it has to load Explorer. And there you can see right here in the corner, I have the plain old blue highlighting up start menu. So now all you're gonna do is to, to be able to change the start menu all you're gonna do is you're gonna click the little orb here and you're gonna browse for the start orb that you want. So I'm obviously gonna go down to the my folder which is start button changer and the start orbs. Now I will do a couple different ones um, I'll start off with the black one for now. There you go again, it'll reload Explorer. Nothing here. And there we go. We got the black starter. And then again, if you ever want to restore back to your original, just click this right here. And there you go. Now personally I like my invisible one. My invisible one is invisible start button by Zindi that guy right there. All you do that, and then it reloads again. And you'll see that mine is just how I like it. So um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, please thumbs up for the new visual presentation. 
and uh, have a nice day. This is the Hacker777, and I am signing off.